What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks. This is Jones Five, and I am back with Monster Sanctuary Part Seventy. I just beat this guy. Let's see what's happening. Not bad. That human attendant of yours is quite talented. Let me proceed then. I was about to tell you more about the Celestial's Bowl. I myself was the loyal attendant of the Celestial Raven. You may call me Wanderer. You might have come across the World Tree, a gigantic tree unlike any other in this on this world. Not far from here. I know where. That tree was planted on this world millions of years ago. At that point in time, the only living beings here were the Celestials. You were there, as well as the Celestial Raven, okay, and many others, most of which have been forgotten by history long ago. One day, the Celestial Raven looked to other worlds it saw a variety of life that was completely unlike the Celestials of our world. So the Celestial Raven traveled to one of those worlds and used it to break and used its beak to steal away a single seed. It brought this seed back and planted it in our world. The Celestials nurtured the seed until it grew into a majestic tree and became the world tree. The world tree has had a miraculous effect on our world. All of the li all of life as we know it evolved thanks to this world tree. Not only did it lead to the creation of simple organisms, animals, but also the evolution of monsters and humans. All of the magic used by monsters and spell-wielding humans also springs forth from the world tree. Although there might be very few humans left who know how to tap into this ancient magic. The tree of evolution was grown from one of the world tree's seeds. As I understand it, its magic was used during the creation of the sanctuary. The sanctuary was created around the tree of evolution, which happened to be above the world tree itself. The earth shifted during the sanctuary's creation, opening a passage to this area, which had been sealed by one of the world tree tenders. She believed that she could protect the world tree from outside influences by sealing this area away. That was around 2,000 years ago. The world tree tenders were a group of humans who tended to the world tree. I was somewhat a leader to them. After I was sealed away in this ice, they abandoned their duty. Over many generations, all knowledge of the world tree seems to have vanished from this world, forgotten by humankind. The world tree is still central to our world, however. If the tree, world tree ceased to be, all life would wilt with it. Bard, my loyal companion, has scouted the world for centuries to find a way to undo the curse of the ice that had befallen me. It's only recently, it only recently found the passage to this area that had opened when the monster sanctuary was created on top of it. It awaited the arrival of someone who could aid it in undoing the curse of ice. That happened to be you and your human attendant. You are the first outsider to step foot in here in 2,000 years. We need to make haste. Monsters mindless as most of them are, have been gnawing at the world tree's bark and roots. I will tend to its trunk. If my magic hasn't left me yet, I should be able to heal it. I task you, as well as your human attendant, with the elimination of the dangerous monsters that... the dangerous monster that is presently gnawing at the world tree's roots. You can find it... You can find the roots underneath the world tree itself, of course. Here, let me bestow you a gift. Bard egg. <laughs> nice. A bard of your own. Besides, being a most steadfast companion, it will also help you gain access to the world tree's roots. Once you have dealt with the monster there, come back up to the world tree. I will answer remaining questions that you have at this, about the Celestials then. That would be very kind, yes. 
You seem very knowledgeable about the distant past of our world. I am somewhat a living fossil, after all. I wish you luck on your task. You are dealing with a monster strengthened by the chunks of the world tree that it has been eating. Frozen in time. Another achievement. Hard egg. Ooh, gate. Bonk. Nice. I've got a bard. A bard. 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 Okay, so the bard obviously opens the magic wall. Okay. Cool. But you are what it means. Alright. So where in the lower area do I have to go? Maybe it's to the right. Maybe it's... There's a few places to the right, one to the left. Three places I can go to the right. Okay, let's stop talking about it and get there. Yes, yeah, I can go this way. What was further down here? There was something further down, I can't remember. Right on. Mighty bard, all of my own. So I'll let that take care of that. As long as he doesn't heal himself, I'm gonna just try to get the ball. None of them seems to want to heal themselves, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. Glad they're not healing themselves. Those two are still dead, so I'm not free.
quasi durch drauf. Das ist interessant. Ruin Soul? I've never seen that before. Alright. Anyways, let's see what it says about Mark. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Don't have it because I need to evolve it. Don't know what that is. Have it, have it, have it. Have it, have it, and have it. Oh. Dragon had amassed an army to conquer the world by force. Opposite them was Raven with, the, with cunning on his side. We shall always follow Raven's example. Okay. I hear you. I need to go small. Metroid. And then. I don't know, this might just be a regular. Yeah. There we go. Didn't want to forget that. Okay. I guess I do want to forget that. Whatever. I can sense a very powerful presence in this person. It's a champion monster, but it's even stronger than regular champion monsters. Be prepared. Uh huh. Okay, the last time he told me it was more powerful than regular, I got my ass handed to me. That was in the beach, but I'm gonna try anyways. <laughs> Uh, can I connect you? Alright. Okay. Ultimate. What? I don't know what that means. Hopefully not what I think it means. Okay. Seem to be okay so far against this guy, but that last one was cool and just kicked my ass so hard. The other one I must have had, like, bad weakness against. Whoa! Settle down there! Jesus! I don't take kindly to that. Not at all. Damn. Okay. okay, so he has one attack that's actually crazy, so I gotta watch for that one. One attack that he used. Wow, that did uh, damage. I still feel safer against this guy compared to the other one. Burn you, bastard! God damn it! He he is debuffing too, so I've gotta focus. 
He really doesn't like the fire, but the fire's not hitting him. I keep trying. I'll forever keep trying. seem to want to hit. Alright. I'm at full shield, so I can, de I can definitely take him. Read it, did. Okay, good. Uh, I don't really. I'm gonna use a master score anyways. I don't really need it, but you know he is stacking shock on me. So I was wondering like two episodes ago if that was a possibility, and it is apparently. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Burn for the poison. Okay. Um, uh, it does damage a little. Why not? Nice. I've got. It. Still burning? Okay. So let's see if I can make him bleed a little bit. Yeah, I found him bleeding a little. Oh. Almost dead. Shouldn't be eating at the roots, bro. I think this is the right guy, I'm not sure. Get stone. Uh-huh. Alright. Really? Am I directly under the tree? I'm not directly under the tree, so that might not have been him. That might not have been the guy I wanted. Uh, I'll have to find that out. How much money do I have? Nice. I have quite a bit of money. I haven't really spent that much money in this game, to be honest. If I'm being honest. This guy. Okay, so... And then, if I go right, I'll go out another way. Then there's two other places where I can go, but okay. This at this point, I don't really need to fight these guys. I guess I kind of do, but I don't know. I don't really. Well, open a passage. Straight through. Go to the right. Okay, so this is just. Okay, so that's nothing. And then if I go straight across here, there's another That might have been the right place, actually. I need Carboy. Actually, no, the turtle. I can use turtle. Where's my turtle? Help me swim and fly. Critical. Yeah. 
Again. Huh. Oh, crap. I can't see while I'm down there. See what I'm dealing with here. God damn it. I need, I need some other type of monster, I think. Um so uh good flyer. I need a good flyer before I fall. Damn it! Fuck! I can't do it in the dark. There's gotta be some sort of monster that can do this, but... I don't know which one that would be, to be honest. Crap. If I can get across and just land on any brick. Oh, crap. No, it doesn't switch fast. Fuck me. There's literally just one other place that I need to get to there. This doesn't look. Rooms. Ride the monster. I don't know. Fast enough to find myself. No way. Okay, so I definitely need to lower myself before I just jump down there. Fuck! I just want to fuck. Ah! There's only one place up there left, and I just. Ah. 
It's aggravating because I can't see what I'm. When I'm supposed to dump. <laughs> Fuck. I can't see where I need to dump. Like, it was so annoying. Like, what other monsters? Actually, I have no idea that, where any of these. These are, like, hidden. These are all in the other area. I know that. That seems to be probably it right there, 109. That I haven't seen yet. That looks like I can run and I just want it to let me do it. Fuck. Oh my god, it's another one. Fuck! I know there's a monster that I can actually do this with, but... It's telling me I've seen the whole room, but I haven't. Oh, this one just came back. That's all that's happened. Gotta be a way that I can just hack this, right? There's no way I can just hack this. Okay, I'm leaving. There's no way I can hack that. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, oh my god. Now I can't get out? You gotta be fucking with me, right? Okay, well that's another marker on the map, I guess. Okay, so where else on the map is there? All the way to the right down there. And then it's almost all pretty much covered, except for that place at the top. Okay, so let's go up to the right, I guess. Hopefully he's not just standing immediately right where I need to go. Not the mood. I'm leaving. He's going to be standing right where I pass, right? Mark. E bard. Oh, great. This goes down more. <laughs> Fun. Going this way first, because it seems like it might lead me out up this side. It probably does. It looks like it'll go up here, so. Then. 
I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Now I can actually go down, and I assume it goes down and around and links up to the other piece. Right. Or not. Yeah, I need my turtle. Out of time, son of a bitch. I wasted so much time running around. Attack plus 10, increased damage by 2.5, heal self for 50% attack value. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, let me just go see where this other side goes to now. Uh, also, where this is going. Uh, why do they make it completely ungettable? Box level four. Great. Take me home, little man. Let's see what we have here, I guess. Mm. Okay. Silver. Oh god. This place is massive. Stone. Oh. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Fighting three of you at once would not be my idea of a fun, great time. Ooh, wait. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah, I gotta creep my way in there somehow. Right. Craft box. I have quite a few craft boxes. You know, I love Mac and cheese. Is this going to be a water guy down here that I need to fight or something? Whoop. Yeah. Thousand gold. Oh, come on. What the hell are you? Oh, I'm apparently having to fight it, but not this episode. In this episode 71, because I'm actually out of time. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!